It's National Wheaties Week. Yes, it's National Wheaties Week, and Wheaties present Dimension X. On stage tonight, Dimension X, another in the Wheaties' big parade of exciting half-hour presentations. It's National Wheaties Week. Yep, time to try Wheaties. If you haven't had any for a while, try them now. If you've been eating them right along, have an extra bowl full for me. How about that? You know, I've been talking about Wheaties all summer, saying, see how Wheaties at 7 can help at 11. Well, by golly, they can. I get up to Wheaties, bananas on mine, thanks, and I honestly feel as if I had more pep all morning. And why not you? This is National Wheaties Week. Time for you to have some Wheaties. Breakfast of champions. Oh, go ahead, have some. It's National Wheaties Week. Now, tonight's adventure into the world of the unknown. The world of Dimension X. In the South Pacific, night comes on rapidly. The sun dips below the flat horizon. The sea is crimson for a moment, and then night falls. But on Tahani Atoll, giant arc lights turn night into day. Across the waters of the lagoon within the barrier reef, Launches and tugs skitter back and forth, while on the curving half-moon of the island, army trucks and jeeps scuttle down the rough roads bulldozed by the sea bees just six weeks ago. A low Quonset hut stands near the beach, surrounded by tangled wire. This is the preliminary command post, and inside is General Frank Gadosh, field director of the test. Operation Destruction. Well, everything on schedule, General Gadosh. Radiological surveys complete. Instruments placement checked. Get me Navy and tell them H hours is ordered. Send a periodic time check to Air Force and Ewantock and observation control on the Missouri. Yes, sir. I want a complete roster check on all personnel before H hour. That test bomb is going off at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, even if there's a whole battalion stranded on the target vessels. You see that everybody's clear. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Nate Cohen wants to see you. Who the devil is he? AP man. He's been selected by the press radio pool to interview you. I haven't got time. Tell him to speak to Major Breedenberg. He's the PRO. Well, I think perhaps you'd better see him, sir. The directive on public relations from Washington was very clear. I want blazes am I supposed to run a bomb test and play mother hand to a bunch of reporters? Washington, sir. All right, all right, all right. Bring him in. Really? Yes, sir. Get me some black coffee. Yes, sir. Uh, this is Mr. Cohen, uh, General Gadosh. How do you do, General? Lousy, as a matter of fact. Is that an official statement? No. And run some of that world is at the crossroads baloney. I wrote that yesterday. General, what effect do you think the new bomb will have in the world situation? I can't tell you that even if I knew. My job is to set the blaster thing off, see that nobody gets hurt, and collect the data. Uh, can I speak with you for a moment, sir? Later, Alan. Go ahead, Cohen. Can you release anything on the scientific principles involved? I don't even understand it myself. Wait a minute. Dr. Muller. Yes? Come over here a moment, will you? Come on, this is Dr. Fred Muller. How do you do? Civilian scientific director. He's the only one who knows what's inside that warhead. How do you do, Mr. Cohen? How about a statement, Doctor? Well, I, I'm afraid all I'm allowed to say is that the bomb is new. It's extremely powerful. And off the record, it's very tricky and dangerous. Well, what'll happen if it goes off prematurely? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about that. In fact, we wouldn't even know about it. If you'll excuse me now. Uh, how about the natives? What about them? They're going to be evacuated from the island? They already have been. Uh, General Gadosh. I saw the Tahani chief outside when I came in. The whole tribe's out there squatting down at the motor pool having a conference. What? Alan. I've been trying to tell you, sir, the Tahani are still on the island. What? The LCTs are ready, aren't they? Yes, sir, but they won't go. They refuse. The scheduled call for their evacuation to Milani three hours ago. I realize that, sir, but I hoped we could still get them off without violence. Look, Alan. They're either on the island or off. Wait a minute. Cohen, that's all. What are you going to do about the natives, General? I'll issue a statement later. You're going to force them? Go on, out. I haven't got time. All right, General. Thanks. Thanks a lot. 
All right, Alan, let's have it. Well, sir, the Tahani have been kicking up a fuss all along. They won't leave. They won't? Do they know what's going to happen to the island? Do they know we're going to blow it higher than a kite? I told the chief, and he just said they won't go. They'll go, all right, if I have to... Get him in here. Chief? And the lieutenant who interprets. Yes, sir. How do you like that, Dr. Muller? I haven't got enough trouble. Uh, you, you know, I feel rather sorry for the Tahani. It can't make much sense to them. We arrive and tell them they've got to get out. I appreciate your finer feelings, Muller. But I can't let a hundred half-naked Kanakas hold up the bomb test. But they're not Kanakas, General. Captain Cook discovered the island in 1788. What's and... the difference? Lieutenant Gilbert reporting, sir. Ma uh, uh, no. I haven't got time for ceremony, Gilbert. Tell the chief he and his tribe have to get off the island. We're providing homes for the Mamalani. Maruru uh, Teupa. Translate, uh, The chief says, uh, You do not understand. Mailani is a bad island. My people have lived on Tahani from the time that our ancestors were cast away on the island. The uh, spirits of our ancestors are buried in the earth. Our fathers are buried here. Our uh, fathers, hey, fathers... If he thinks I'm going to move his graveyard, he's crazy. In our ancestors' time, the Tahani came in a great bird canoe. We were cast away on this island. And we have made it our home. Uh, what right have you now to carry us over the sea to a strange land where we would die weeping for our homes? We will not go. By the water of Babylon, there we sat down and we wept when we remembered Zion. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Marlowe. You're a great help. Gilbert. Yes, sir? Tell him I have no choice. He's got till midnight to get his tribe on board those LCTs peacefully, or I'll have the Marine Detachment carry them on board. Te mauma te watu. rather harsh, hey, General? Tomorrow, yeah. After yeah, all, the justice is on their side. Well, we are preparing to blow up their island, and we haven't asked them about it. Dr. Muller, you will kindly confine yourself to the scientific aspect of this operation. I'll take care of administrative matters. Well, if you could explain to them what is at stake here. Any further explaining I've got to do, I'll do with the Marine Detachment. I'm not going to hold up my schedule to coddle a hundred barefoot natives. Well, Gilbert? I told him, sir. All right, get him out of here. I've heard enough. What the devil is that? Some kind of a curse, sir. I, I can catch some of it. The island will remember the tears of its children and punish the invaders. The great destroyer will not destroy. And the evil man who is the chief will travel far through the blackness of night. Even as the children of the island end, so will he. All right, Gilbert, take him away. Yes, sir. Well, not Allen, get a detail from the Marine Detachment with tear gas and small arms down to the motor pool. One hour, have those natives on that transport. And I don't care how they do it. Is that my coffee, Varelli? Yes, sir. They must know about the bomb. The great destroyer will not destroy. You worried about that curse? Well, I, I should think you might be. He threatened you personally. If I were you, I'd carry a pistol till they got off the island. The chief looked as if he'd cheerfully strangled you with his bare hands. I'm supposed to end the way they do, huh? What's that? Oh, probably the Tahani saying goodbye to their island. I think I'll go down to the motor pool. Well, stay out of the way and get back here in an hour. Well. We've got to have this wrapped up and headquarters moved out to the Missouri by dawn. Navy and instrument room checking in, sir. That's the last. Have the Missouri take over control in Central, my chief. Yes, sir. Are the LCTs there standing by for those natives? Yes, sir. They're on the beach. Uh, the bomb unit is assembled in place, General. 23:30, right on the nose. Robin, start evacuation procedure. The Tahani have stopped. Allen's probably moving them out to the beach. Check in with Navy and Air Force rally. Yes, sir. What's that? It's, it's coming from the beach. Tahani making trouble. Come on. Yo. Yo, Gilbert, what is it? Yes, sir. Colonel Allen ordered the Marines in, sir. What happened? What happened, man? The natives. They, they just got up and started marching. Did they embark? Oh, you don't understand, sir. They marched up the cliff and right off into the lagoon. What? All of them. The women and the kids, too. They... They didn't even try to swim, sir. What were you doing all this time? Just standing around with your thumb in your mouth? Where was the Marine detachment? We couldn't stop them, sir. They just walked over the cliff. They didn't even scream, not even the kids. Uh, we, we sent the crash boats out, but 
We couldn't get any of them out. Crazy idiots. Were any of the reporters there? Uh, Cohen and a life photographer. Get his film and hold it till I release it. Uh, what are you going to do, General? Postpone HR? It's too late for that now. Calling HR off isn't going to bring the natives back. But 100 men, women, and children just walking into the water, it's horrible. Look, I'm not happy about it either, but there's nothing we can do now. I gave them a chance to get off. They didn't want to take it. That's their hard luck, not mine. I hope you're right. What do you mean by that? Oh, I was just thinking about the curse the chief put on you. Even as the children of the island end, so will he. That's what he said to you, General. I heard him. Keep waiting, General. The great destroyer will not destroy. That must mean the bomb. Don't worry, Dr. Muller. It'll take more than a mumbo-jumbo curse from a native witch doctor to stop this operation. At each hour, that bomb goes off. Now, H-hour minus one minute, 30 seconds. H minus 130. Video screens hooked in, sir? All right, check control stations. Observation station one. Observation station one, check. Radiation station. Radiation control, check. Testifying second, Observation station right, two. General. Observation station two, check. Damage control All station. Set. Damage control, check. Communications? Communications, check. All checked in. It's H minus one minute, H minus one. Take a good look at that island on the screen, Muller. When you throw that key, it just won't be there anymore. Nothing but an atom mushroom over the lagoon. It's quite a funeral pyre for the Tahani. Stubborn idiots. In the way it serves them right, Muller. It can't get in the way of progress. Progress? I wonder if it is, General. It's H minus 30 seconds, H hour minus 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. The Great Destroyer. That's what he called the bomb. Hold it, Miller. Allen report. All checked in. Cameras running. Sound fire warning. Stand by for firing. Ready, Miller? Ready. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fire! General, it, it didn't go off. Really? The bomb didn't go off. Really? Signal and stand by. Condition red. Allen, check readings. Muller, what's wrong? What happened? I, I don't know. The bomb didn't go off. What do you mean? Why didn't it go off? I don't know, except for one thing. The Tahani chief said the great destroyer would not destroy. It didn't, General. The bomb didn't go off. Dimension X will continue in just a moment. It's National Wheaties Week. And from behind the scene in the radio studio, here comes one of Hollywood's foremost radio producers, Mr. Joe Parker, stepping out of the control room to help celebrate National Wheaties Week. Mr. Parker puts on radio programs, and he's a visitor to Dimension X tonight. His regular program for Wheaties is Sarah's Private Caper. Joe's a regular guy. He sits there in the glass cage called the control room, running his show. But right now, here he is at the microphone to say his say about Wheaties. Ready, Joe? Thanks, Frank. You know, folks, I sit there in the glass cage, as Frank calls it, and I have to stop my programs long enough for him to talk about Wheaties. But you know, I don't mind. I kind of like this talk about Wheaties and milk and fruit. That's a lot of good eating. And I like the idea of celebrating National Wheaties Week, too. You know, we enjoy putting radio programs on for your entertainment. And we'd enjoy knowing that, well, that you're going to try Wheaties because of us. I hope you'll get Wheaties tomorrow and have some. The whole family. Matter of fact, I think I'll join you. Thank you, producer Joe Parker. If you like this program, friends, get some Wheaties and help celebrate National Wheaties Week. How about it, General? 
What happened? You got a statement? Nothing you can use, Cone. Not until we find out what went wrong. We'll let you come aboard this ship. Yeah, I walked on. You don't know why the bomb failed, huh? It didn't fail. Just didn't go off. Say, what's that tank thing on deck, General? Undersea salvage unit Mark IV. They call it an undersea crawler. Well, somebody going down? That bomb is down there in the lagoon somewhere. Could go off at any second. Somebody has to go down, find it, and disarm it. Yeah, that's a lovely job. Who's elected? I am. <whistles> Dr. Muller. He's the only one who knows how to dismantle it. The crawler's ready, General. All right, come on, Muller. I'm ready. Well, and as soon as we hit shallow water, get those gates open. We'll pull the crawler out, then you get away in a hurry. That bomb goes off while we're working on it. I don't want any casualties. Yes, sir. Inside, Muller. All right. I'm in. I'm in. Remember, get this LCT out of the lagoon in a hurry. You got that, Alan? You take your orders from Admiral Yancey. Yes, sir. And uh, good luck. Closing the hatch. Get the sonar and Geiger counter warmed up, Muller. Right. I uh, was just thinking of something, General. Uh, that curse, part of it came true. The bomb didn't go off. Well? Uh, the uh, second part of that curse was that you would end where they ended, and that was at the bottom of the lagoon. What are you trying to do, Muller? Uh, nothing. I, I was just thinking this crawler is going to take us right down there where the Tahani died. I'm not worried about a handful of dead natives, Muller. I'm worried about that bomb. Okay, they're opening the gate. Let's go. USU Porter Control. Depth 50 feet, bottom sandy. Dropping off sharp. Anything on sonar, Muller? A school of fish. Ever been down the crawler before? <laughs> Only in the tank at New London. I think I've got a Geiger reading dead ahead. Hang on, we're going up over the reef. It must be the bomb, all right. The uh, Geiger count is clucking like a brood hen. Keep an eye on the front vision plate. They run over the bomb, we're liable to set it off. I think I'm getting something on sonar. Left a point. USU for the control. Over. USU for the control. Over. That's a fine note. Radio's out. Dead ahead. It, um... It looks too large to be the bomb. Can't see much in the forward vision, plate. Wait a minute. That's part of the reef ahead. Well, that's where the Geiger reading indicated. The, uh, the bomb must have settled in a hole in the reef. You have to go after it in diving suits. Suits are in the locker. Let's get this over with. The less time I spend down here waiting for that bomb to blow, the better I like it. Grab your helmet. You getting me all right on your headset? Okay, I'm gonna fill the lock. Here goes the outer door. Let's go. This isn't like that diving tank in New London. Look out for that car. Cut you to ribbons. There's a... There's an opening of some sort there. Where'll I get the light up? See if we can get a Gaga reading out of that opening. Uh, just a... Over there. It's down there, all right. Careful. I'll drop down first. You see anything down there? Well, uh, get down here fast. What is it? You find something? The bottom of this hole. It's metal on the sides. But... But it's the coral reef. Look, well, the joints. 
There's a hot plate of some kind, and look out above us, and closing. Grab it! It's too late. A little hatch, just lit over the top. This is impossible. What's going on? It's like an airlock. Water's being pumped out. General, do you realize what this means? I'm not sure. There's an inner door opening. Careful. It's a passageway. What do we do now? There isn't much to do. We can take off our helmets, so. Now shows good air. Yeah. All right. Come on. What is this? An undersea fort? What's it doing here? What does it mean? Whatever it is, our bomb must be down here. Wait. There's someone there. I, I can't see. There's a shadow. Who is it? Who's that? Ma'anua, Dr. Muller. Welcome to our ship. We have been waiting for you. General, it can't be. Do you see it? It's the Tani chief. How long has the undersea crawler been down, Varelli? Four hours, sir. Two since we lost contact. Well, keep trying. Yes, sir. Uh, I've given them enough time. I'm going to send another crawler down. What do you figure happened to them, Colonel? Well, there are a lot of things. Hey, uh, how did you get in here? I walked in. So when are you going to release this, Colonel? It's the biggest story since the election. The bomb, a dud, Dr. Muller, General Gadosh dead. They're not dead. At least we don't know they are. As long as the bomb doesn't go off, there's still a chance that something can... Condition red. Gilbert, radiation control into action. Get the hot squad into Tehani Lagoon as soon as it's cleared. And get me a PT board with radiation screens. What is it, Colonel? What happened? The bomb must have blown. What about Muller, the general? If they were down in that lagoon, you guess. and steady. Well, take her in as close to the beach as you can. Steady as she goes. Is there any danger of more explosions? No, when she goes, she goes. Radiation 82. The danger is radioactivity. Uh, Our shields aren't much good, but we've got to pick up the recording instruments as soon after the blast as possible. Radiation 93.5. Well, that's still safe. Hey, Cohen, uh, is that something on the beach there? Oh, yeah, it looks like a body. Maybe you blew one of the Tahani back out of the lagoon. No, 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 it's, it's, it's moving. Gilbert, glasses. Yes, sir. It's a man, all right. Head into the beach. Aye, aye, sir. Who is it, Colonel? I can't tell, but he's in a diving suit. It's either Muller or General Gadosh. <laughs> No radiation burns, superficial bruises, mild shock. He'll be all right, Colonel. Can he talk? For a while. I'm going to give him a sedative shortly. Mm. Muller, Muller, uh, what happened? How did the bomb go off? Oh, you oh, didn't. He's still out of his head. Quiet, Cohen, quiet. Go on, Dr. Muller. Uh, what did you find? A ship. A giant metal ship there under the lagoon. A submarine? No, no, no. It was... It was a spaceship camouflaged right next to the reef. What? When we went inside, we found the Tahani chief and all the tribe alive. What are you saying? Well, they drowned in the lagoon. I saw them. No, they didn't commit suicide as we thought. They 
just dived underwater into the rocket. A rocket? Built by Polynesian savages? But they're not savages. They're... Castaways. They're from another planet. Don't you understand? Their spaceship was wrecked here 400 years ago. They've been waiting ever since for a chance to go home. Uh, this boy's out of his mind. You better put him under the sedative, Doctor. It's true. They'd exhausted their fuel. They couldn't find anything here on Earth to replace it until we developed atomic power. Atomic power? You mean they stole our bomb? They made me dismantle it for them at the point of a gun. And then just before they blasted off, they let me go. But uh, what about the general? Uh, you mean they killed him? You don't understand. I said I dismantled that bomb at the point of a gun. It was General Gaydash who was holding it. What's that? Yes, yes, he was one of them, one of their spies, sent out to bring back the rocket fuel they needed. And now, after 400 years, the castaways are, are going home. <laughs> X has transcribed The Castaways, written by Ernest Canoy from an original story by Ernest Canoy and George Lefferts. Featured in the cast were Santos Ortega as General Gaydosh, Greg Morton as Dr. Muller, your narrator Norman Rose, music by Albert Berman, engineer Bill Chambers. Dimension X is produced by Van Woodward and directed tonight by Jack Cuny. In a moment, we'll tell you about next week's show. And now, here is your Wheaties man, Frank Martin. It's National Wheaties Week, and listen. If producer Joe Parker is going to buy Wheaties tomorrow, and I go out and buy Wheaties tomorrow, and you go out and buy Wheaties tomorrow, well, that makes three of us, huh? And if everybody goes out and buys Wheaties tomorrow, then the whole doggone country is going to be celebrating National Wheaties Week in the proper manner. And it's a real nice celebration, too. Pour out those golden flakes, pour on the milk, put on the fruit, and you'll be eating good to be feeling good. Breakfast of champions. Get yours. It's National Wheaties Week. Next week on Dimension X, a dramatization of Ray Bradbury's new novel, The Martian Chronicles, the epic story of how man conquered a new planet and then lost his own. Another adventure into the unknown world of the future. The world of... Dimension X. And this is the Wheaties man, Frank Martin, inviting you to listen also on Saturday, that's tomorrow night, to Joel McRae in Tales of the Texas Rangers on the Wheaties Big Parade. It's National Wheaties Week. Swing your partners right and left. It's National Wheaties Week. Come on, everybody, to the Wheaties party. Eat a lot of Wheaties like the champions do. Dance together cheek to cheek. This is National Wheaties Week. Eat a lot of Wheaties like the champions do. Wheaties, a breakfast of champion. Jack Late tells the story of the Canada Kid next on NBC.